Gardening Family, welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have a Dollar Tree haul. And this is the first ever Dollar Tree haul where I'm doing it standing up. Um, I told you guys I moved, and I'm finally in a room that has really good lighting, natural lighting. So I'm trying to do things a little bit differently. So I'm going to have to figure out the setup if I like this. But I kind of like having natural light, obviously more than the um, fake light. For two different reasons, because that one can wash you out, and on top of that, it burns the hell out of your eyes. Anyways, before we begin the Dollar Tree haul, as always, I'd like to share with you guys my graphic t-shirt that I'm wearing for the haul. This one, I love it so much, I actually ended up buying it in a medium because they didn't have a small. And it's this Ren and Stimpy red shirt, and it's from Five Below. Okay, so now let's begin the Dollar Tree haul. This week, I got a lot of items that I like a lot. So let's start off with my favorite items that I found this week at Dollar Tree. I have them on the side of me. That was these little mercury glass jars. I really, really like these because of the colors they have them in. So there's a rose gold color. It is so pretty. And then this gold one. They also had silver, but these were the ones that caught my eye, especially the rose gold one. I ended up purchasing three of these because I feel like they will be good when I start doing like the glamorous type of Christmas decor. You guys, I have seen people use things like this before for their wedding decor. So if you're getting married anytime soon or even having a party or know somebody who's getting married anytime soon, tell them to check out Dollar Tree. That's actually what this crap is right here. Like, you know, this is my background that I normally use for my um, Dollar Tree haul videos. And then this is just nothingness. And then right here, I got some moss and then like lanterns and stuff. Things just laid out for my uh, wedding decor so I can make sure it all kind of like matches. I'm putting it right here and anytime I get something new, I stick it over here to see if it matches. I just feel like it would look really nice. The inside of the rose gold one is just plain gold. Oh my gosh, I cannot with the gift boxes Dollar Tree is getting in right now. A couple of weeks ago, I hauled like a marble one and it was really nice this week. With this rose gold, I found a rose gold color gift box. Like, this is such a pretty box. Like, obviously, you know, you can put a gift inside of this, but you can just use this for storage. Like, I love it. They had it in gold and silver as well, but I just purchased one of these. The inside of it is even rose gold. You can use this to organize your makeup inside of your, like, vanity drawers or even on the top of it. You know, put eyeshadows in this, whatever you, it might be. It's just a really cute way to store things. And then I found another cute gift box. Look at this one. This one has a truck on it. I love this. And then it has, like, a buffalo check print on it. The Dollar Tree truck stuff that they're getting in lately, it is so cute. Like, they didn't have this type of stuff last Christmas. So I purchased one of these boxes. They had two different sizes, this one and then like one that was a little bit smaller and it looked exactly the same. Now I didn't buy this for um, to give out in a gift. I actually just bought it for the lid for some DIYs, which by the way, I promise you tomorrow, come back for my first Dollar Tree DIY Christmas video of the year. And uh, you're gonna wanna check it out. It has something to do with like this type of stuff. These next items I'm excited to try. So I was able to find some new beauty benefits makeup this week, but this time it was highlight powders. What they got right now I've seen before, their eyeshadow palettes and then the bronzers, but I've never seen the highlight powder palettes. So I actually didn't wear any highlight today. So normally in my Dollar Tree hauls people always say, oh you don't really have makeup on. I do have makeup on. I normally have bronzer, my brows filled, um, my lips, um, and then my highlight. But I didn't put any highlighter on today because I really really want to try this. So there's two different ones. Gleam, which I feel like would look nicer on lighter skin tones because of the color. It has like a pinkish highlight in there so it goes well with people who have like pink undertones. And then there's Starlight which is warmer. So I think I'm going to use Starlight and I'm going to use the lighter color in Starlight. So I'm dipping my brush into this one. And usually what I highlight is my cheekbones. I cannot tell inside of this screen at all, the, the camera screen, what's going on. There's a mirror in front of me, but I don't see much of anything. I don't really see anything. And then I do the tip of my nose and some time above my lip. So I'm going to have to get a mirror because I can't see it all. There's definitely highlight there. I can see it, but if you're into like wham bam, thank you ma'am type of highlight, like you want it to pop out, I wouldn't say that this is too, too pigmented. Let me try layering it a bit. No, it's definitely there. I definitely see something. It's just not incredibly in your face, but it's pretty. It's subtle. Like I said, it's more subtle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try the starlight one. Is that what this one was called? 
I think it was called Starlight. Maybe it was called Gleam. I just got everything mixed up. But the one that has like a pink-ish uh, looking highlight. And I am going to highlight this side. Oh. <laughs> this one's more pigmented. Oh yeah, this one's definitely more pigmented. Now this type of highlight... I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of one that has a pink undertone just because I don't have that type of undertone in my skin. I have a yellow undertone, so warm um, highlights tend to look better on me, but this one is definitely more pigmented than this one. I do like these. I like them a lot. For a dollar, they're nice. These next items I have been searching everywhere for. I've been going to different Dollar Trees, and there's also something else I've been looking for. I've been seeing people um, haul the like octagon-looking shelves. I forget what they're called exactly. I've been seeing people haul those. I can't find those, but I was finally able to find these little um, modular... That's actually what it's called. Anyways, modular wall storage containers. So they have them in three different colors. These totally remind me of something you could buy at Ikea. Um, they have them in white this tan color, and then a gray. This is a great way to store things on your wall if you're looking for more storage. Like this one has a picture of makeup, and that's perfect for that. Makeup brushes. You can hang it near your vanity, and that way you don't have to take up space on the vanity. You can put like your makeup there and then put the brushes on the wall. Now this is the thing on the back it's showing that you have to nail it to the wall. So maybe if you can't really put nails inside of your wall because you rent, you can find a command strip that will hook onto this. These next items my mermaid love and self needed to purchase. I found some mermaid pens. They kind of remind me of the mermaid brushes Dollar Tree just had in. Um, now they are in three different type of colors. So each one has the same colors but it's just kind of a different um, pattern to them. Like the top tail of this one is purple, the top tail of this one is pink and then the top tail of this one is a blue color. I have so many notebooks always sitting near me and a bunch of pencils and pens like right here. This thing right here is filled with scissors and pens and sharpies and I use it all the time so I could not pass this up. So Dollar Tree right now is getting a bunch of Christmas miniatures in and they are so cute. So the first one I got is a church and then I got a post office. These were the only two buildings that I found. I didn't see any other buildings and I saw these in two different Dollar Trees and both Dollar Trees only had these two. So along with those little miniature buildings they have other little miniatures. The first one that I'm going to show you guys is this little one with two little Christmas trees for a dollar a great price. I mean, go to Michael's. You're not going to find it for a dollar unless they're having like a really good sale on them. Um, and it only comes with two. Then the other two that I got have people. This one has Santa Claus, two females, and then this one has a female, a male with a kid, and then the snowman. Dollar Tree has gotten some new wall decor hooks in. They have um, four different ones that I saw. I bought the butterfly and then I bought the feather. So what there is are these little knobs and you can hang your jewelry or a scarf or a belt on top of them. I wouldn't really keep them this color because I feel like it looks too plasticky. I would spray paint them like with a metallic color preferably or like keep them like this but do something else to kind of spruce it up a bit so it doesn't look too much like a piece of plastic. And just like these little things, this is a great way to add more storage to your house and also a great way to organize. Dollar Tree got some new little box-like um, decor pieces. I purchased two of them. Again, different designs. This one is my favorite of the two. It has the galvanized metal and it says thankful, grateful, blessed. This will go perfect with like my um, Thanksgiving fall decor that I have upstairs and then like right here in the backdrop. Look at that. See, it just mess matches it well. And then the next one I got says, enjoy the little things. And then the next one I got says, enjoy the little things. This wreath right here reminds me more of um, spring than it does fall. I found more of the Yes To Face Mask at Dollar Tree. I don't own these ones yet, nor have I tried them. I told you guys I will buy these and I will stock up on them, but I don't use them all the time. And I know that if I use it all the time, I will break out. I want to say this though, I got a comment last week from somebody saying that these aren't FDA approved and I tried googling it um, and I can't find anything. If somebody has a link to a news article um, that I don't know about, let me know down in the comments below because I was trying to find it but I couldn't find anything. So what I got were Yes To Coconut. They're both Yes To Coconut. The first one is a DIY, DIY powder to clay mask and it says it's moisturizing for dry skin and then this one is a moisturizing sleep mask for dry skin and that is definitely my skin type. My skin is, oh, it is so dry. I got some more Christmas items. I got these little sitting figurines. So I got a penguin, a snowman, and a reindeer. There was a Santa Claus. I never really purchased the Santa Claus ones of these just because I like the animals or like the 
little like characters, not too much Santa Claus. The snowman actually reminds me of Humpty Dumpty a little bit. Do the Humpty Hump, hey, do the Humpty Hump. And the final thing I purchased at Dollar Tree this week was pine cones. They have these glitter pine cones and there's six in each pack of them. They have gold, silver, and then like, if this is not a rose gold, it's more like an aged gold. So it's not too yellow. It's more leaning a little bit toward truer gold to me because the other gold color, it's like a little bit yellow at the same time. So that is it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to end my hauls with a question. And last week I wanted to know, who is your favorite YouTuber to watch? A lot of you guys like females. That's what I noticed. A lot of female YouTubers and a lot of you guys like crafting, organizing, um, DIYing type of YouTubers. So for this week's question, the holidays are fast approaching. I want to know what is your favorite holiday and your least favorite holiday out of Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. So my favorite obviously is Christmas. There is nothing that makes me happier than the month of December. Like it, it's like I can have nothing to do, be bored out of my mind, but I'm still happy because I know Christmas is around the corner and just everything just seems so much happier to me. My least favorite one is definitely New Year's. I've never been a fan of New Year's. I just don't like it. I think it just stems from like my childhood. I wasn't, it, I had like a pretty like crappy childhood growing up and not not anything because of my parents just things that happened to me and I dealt with depression for a very long time and so I don't like New Year's it, it always felt like daunting to me because I'd always think oh it's another year where I'm just gonna be depressed and I'm not depressed anymore don't get me wrong but it's just like it's just like that crappy memories are like stuck in my head there I mean there is some things that I like about New Year's I mean there are some things I like about New Year's I like when we have our family over and we play games and then a French onion dip and chips like dipping chips uh I always used to eat that growing up on New Year's and then like I still kind of keep with that tradition and I don't know why and it's just like a New Year's thing to me um so there are things that I like but it's just kind of like just this like daunting feeling when it comes to New Year's. Okay, this is getting a little too personal. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. If you have a love and